Now, let's start with stage one, where you have no relevant experience and no university or college degree or even a cybersecurity certification. Nothing at all. Now, I'm not going to lie, this is a very tough starting position, but if you're truly determined to become a cybersecurity professional, there are many things you could do to achieve your goal. Your number one priority here must be to get hands-on relevant experience. And here, depending on how old you are, I would actually recommend doing different things. So let's say you're in high school and you don't want to go to college or you can't go to college for whatever reason. I would recommend that you apply for a apprenticeship or training programs available at your school. These are typically tailored for students who are just about to finish high school, like in the 11th or 12th grade, or have just finished high school, and most large corporations actually have programs like this. The names the programs might take or look like might differ by country, state, county, or school district, or even the program itself. It might be called apprenticeships or training programs, but the idea is generally the same, to give you an opportunity to develop your skills, get real life experience, and also get paid enough at the same time. Even if you don't go for a specific cybersecurity apprenticeship program, as long as you will work with technology or systems or networks as part of the role, you should be fine. You could use these programs as a stepping stone to accelerate your journey to becoming a full-time cybersecurity professional at a very young age. I was able to get to cybersecurity at 18 and it's not impossible if you have the right strategy. Now, if you're not in high school and you've been stuck in another job that you don't like and you're interested in cybersecurity, I'd recommend focusing on learning the technical skills skills required. You can do this by getting well-known and knowledge-dense practical certifications, building a strong portfolio to showcase your skills, writing a great resume, and optimizing your LinkedIn profile.